Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris Lindsay, aka the Fairy Fro Mother. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I keep my hair stretched. I get lots of questions about how I stretch my hair, so I wanted to show you guys. If you saw my last video, how I pre pull with herbs, you remember this inverted braid. This is the first time I'm touching my hair since my last wash day. It's time to re moisturize, however, I'm not going to be doing that now. I was about to step out and I didn't have the time at that moment to go on with my moisture routine. I was going to come back to re-moisturize my hair, but I thought to show you all how my hair looks six days after washing without touching it at all. So basically, my hair leaves and breathes in twists, if you know what I mean. Twists help to keep my hair stretched. Twists have been my protective style, my main protective style. Whatever protective style I'm wearing, my hair is first of all in twists, then it is styled. The essence of keeping my hair stretched cannot be overemphasized. It helps to reduce tangles and single strand knots. Okay, so if the hair is shrunken, there is a bigger chance for the hair to get tangled. Okay, and then there is the risk for breakage. However, if it is in, in a stretched state, the risk for breakage is reduced because it will not be as tangled and I don't get single strand knots. In the long run, keeping my hair stretched helps me to retain length. Another thing is it also helps with moisture retention. Stretched hair allows for better penetration of moisture throughout the hair strands, promoting improved hydration and reducing the likelihood of dryness. When my hair is stretched, I'm also able to manage it better. It's easier for me to handle, it's easier for me to style, it's easier for me to manipulate during my weekly routines and my monthly routines. So I go for the heat-free methods of stretching my hair. I don't use heat on my hair. Since returning natural, I've never used heat at least not yet so i opt for the heatless methods using heat is not a bad thing if you're doing it the right way okay so i go for the heatless methods of from um, stretching my hair you can see how that hair is is soft it feels moisturized it is actually moisturized okay my hands are moisturized just by touching my hair so my hair is able to retain moisture by this method of me stretching my hair I'm able to keep my hair moisturized for days actually twists help to lock in moisture honestly when you moisturize your hair and twist it okay the moisture is retained it's like the moisture is locked in there so that's exactly what happened. That's what my hair experiences with these twists. And I keep my hair in these sections, honestly. I just keep my hair in these sections because it's easier for me to handle. It's easier for me to manage. I'm just showing you guys how the hair looks six days after washing it without touching it. So this is, this is it. This is how I keep my hair stretched. This is my routine. So I style my hair in different ways in 
twists okay so they're already in twists but i style them differently all in a bead to keep the hair stretched so i don't undo these sections i just leave these sections i can only um refresh my 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 parts my sections but i do not undo all the hairs at once no i don't i don't undo all the sections at once because it's sometimes overwhelming for me to handle all all of my hair if they are not in twists so yes i hardly undo these sections all at once i'm always working in these sections and it has really helped me the main thing is whatever works for you when it comes to manageability go ahead and do it and that's how my hair has been thriving other options for the heatless methods of stretching the hair is bantu knot outs we have braid outs and also the banding method I've shown you a few pictures already so yes it's really important to keep the hair stretched especially when you wash when you just finish washing your hair even though you're not ready to style it ensure that your hair is either in in single twists or in single plates or even corn roll immediately after washing that is if you are not going to use heat so when you are now ready to style you can now take down those single pleats or twists or cornrow and then do the actual style that you want that way it will be easier so much more easier for you to handle or manage your hair if you just leave your hair like that after washing without doing any of these three uh, method the styles i mentioned either twist single pleats or cornrow immediately after moisturizing your hair it will not be easy for you to handle because the hair must have shrunken and um, it won't be easy for you to part and all of that and then you might even feel pain it's just because of the texture of our hair that's how our hairs are although some people have um, textures that are easier to handle like their hairs are softer um, their hairs are easier to handle they don't really go through so much you don't experience too much detangling because of the texture of their hairs that's good for them but most of us have this kind of hair texture that you have to really be mindful of how you handle it or else you deal with shrinkage you deal with tangles you deal with single strand knots so in order to avoid all that you have to do these styles especially after washing your hair uh -huh. until you are ready to make the hair let your hair be in either twists single pleats or cornrow don't leave your hair loose like that it will just shrink and you just have difficulty in handling it okay so i'm just showing you guys the simple ways that i style my hair it's just very easy for me in less than a couple of minutes i'm done and i'm going about my business so this is my simple donut that i i wear most of the time my go-to style or i can just loosen that donut and then tuck the whole ponytail in like tuck it under and then use bobby pins to secure and I'm going about my business. My styles, if, you, if you've noticed, they are simple, they are, they are very easy, and they are tension-free. Okay, the key word there is tension-free, which is very important. I appreciate you all and the love that you're showing this channel. I appreciate you a great deal. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family so that they too can learn how to care for their natural hair. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, kindly do so so that you will not miss out on any of my videos. I will definitely see you on my next one. Bye-bye.